What's going on, MGTOW Nation, Red Pill Nation, Black Pill Nation? This is Renegade Number One, aka the Feminist Killer, hashtag Logitorian. Today's video is going to be about the Ohio shooting in Dayton. 24 year old Connor Brett, that's the guy's name, who carried out this act. I just want to say. First of all, before I get into the video, my condolences to all the nine people who lost their lives and their families be with you. My my condolences to you guys. And um, without further ado, I want to get into this video. Well, Connor Brett, I, I I did my research and I figured out I figured out why he did it, and it's understandable. He was looking for female validation. He is, he, it was revealed that he received a lot of rejection from women. So he had a hit list to target women because they rejected him. He wanted to take his anger out on women who rejected him. This man was clearly an incel. I looked at his face, his eyes not was fucked up, his face, his jaw wasn't even. He was an incel. He had poor genetics. This is what I feared the most. He is the Bagel Man 2.0. He's the Bagel Man 2.0. Or you can even argue he was the male Aisha Curry. He wasn't getting enough female attention, so he decides to channel his anger in a, the most unhealthy way possible by violence. You get an AR-15 with 250 fucking rounds and you decide to kill nine people and injure 30 others. This man was crying for fucking help. He was crying for help. He didn't, and it really, it really brings to light that men don't know how to channel their emotions verbally. He carried out his emotions through violence. A lot of men do this. And now that I think about it, if you look at the trend, a lot of these mass shooters who are men, they don't know how to uh, communicate well. They don't have no outlet. They feel like they don't have no outlet. This situation motivates me to even reach out to more brothers who are suffering with these issues. This man could not handle the reality of suffering. And right now I'm reading a book and I'm learning that you are going to face suffering regardless of who you are. You got to choose which suffering is worth going through. You know what I mean? You, you got to, if you're passionate about something, you don't care if you suffer. You know what I mean? I enjoy my suffering. I enjoy being black pilled. I will enjoy that shit because I love it. I love being passionate. I'm unattractive. I understand that once I go off grid, that's where I'm going to die. I'm going to die there. You know what I mean? I understand that 90% of women aren't attracted to me. But you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to get a fucking AR-15 and 250 rounds and start killing people. I'm not going to do that. That, no disrespect to Connor Brett's family, that is weak. That's pathetic. That is some bitch shit. That is some weak, weak shit right there. I can't, I can't, I can't stand people like that. They, he felt like because he couldn't get female attention or couldn't get a girlfriend, he had to kill other people. Imagine that. I lose my life because of that person's insecurities or that person's going through. Everybody, everybody goes through problems. But that person feels like their problems, everybody has to respond to it. That's that's sad, man. But I look at it like this. Conor McGregor, I mean, not Conor McGregor, Conor Brett, he's still our brother. He's still a brother that we lost. You can tell he was blue pill. But imagine this. Think about it like this. If he had known the red pill, if he had somebody to vent his frustrations to, do you think he would carry out this shooting? Probably not. 
And this is why we need to make videos for brothers to reach out to them. Because a lot of brothers are plotting this same shit. They are a lot of men. This won't be the last time. Millions of people go through this shit every day. Millions of guys. So Connor Brett, what he did Sunday, that shit's never going to stop. There's going to be another mass shooting. There's going to be more people that are going to die. That's a fact. People have to die for a change to actually take effect. That's sad, but it's true. People are going to die. There's another man that just seen what happened. He's going to try to copy. He's going to try to imitate that. Because he he's given up. And to all you men who are, you know, plotting this type of shit, you don't have to do that. You don't. You really don't. You need to communicate your thoughts verbally, not with action of violence, act of violence. Because now we can't help you. You know what I mean? You basically giving the fuck up. And so pretty much, men have to work on communicating their thoughts. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Most men cannot handle suffering. Most men cannot handle the harsh reality of women. I hear a lot of men say, okay, if you get rejected over and over again, you still got millions and billions of others. But we all know women think the same. If you're getting rejected by the women in your area, most likely you're going to get rejected by women across seas and all, all over the world. You know what I mean? Most likely you're not attractive if you're getting rejected by 90% of the women. You're just not. Because women have all women, regardless if you're Asian, black, whether you're 10,000 miles apart, wherever you are, you're in Brazil, if you're in Canada, if you're in the United States, if you're in China, it don't matter. Women typically have the same thought process. It's their nature. If you don't have good genetics, they're not going to fucking want to be with you. This guy did not have good genetics. Like I said, Bagel Man 2.0. And like I said, you never know how somebody's going to handle rejection. Somebody could just flip out in a fucking bagel shop and start spazzing out. Or they can do what this guy did. And load up a few, uh, hundreds of rounds and start killing motherfuckers. That's why we have to continue to do what we um, what I what we set out to do: reach out to brothers, bring them in, make them feel like they're uh, accepted, they're wanted, create that family environment, and let him know you don't need a fucking woman. You don't need a woman to feel validated. You know, there's too many guys that put. A lot of thought into that. It's sad, but most men will refute that. Most men don't want to accept that they're going to die alone, that they're not attractive, that they're not going to be the first resort. They're going to be the they're going to be the last resort. Then they're they're, gonna, they're not going to be the first option. They're going to be the last resort. Most men are the last resort. Most men can't accept the fact that they're not that. That uh, top tier or that twenty percent of uh, twenty percent of men who are attractive, I'm not one of them. Most of y'all are not the top twenty percent. But that doesn't mean I don't want none of y'all plotting any of that shit. That's weak. If you if you want to commit suicide, whatever. But don't ever, don't ever in your fucking life try to take somebody else's life because your life is fucked up. That's a weak, bitch move, cowardly act. You understand? So I, I learned that this is the this was the bagel man gone bad. You understand? <clears throat> and it, it it really hurt me, man, because I don't I didn't look at this guy. I don't look at him like a normal person would look at him at just as a, you know, a crazy motherfucker that just kill people. I actually tried to dig into the story, understand why he did it. I understand why he did it. He's not attractive. He he felt like he wasn't attractive. He wasn't getting sex. He was sexually frustrated and he just gave in, gave into his frustration. He had nobody to vent to, probably didn't know what MGTOW was. And this is what we have to do. This is a reminder that we have to make MGTOW more known so we can save brothers' lives. 
We could have saved this brother's life. Life. You know, we have to learn from this. I want other YouTubers to talk about this shit. I want other YouTubers to make a video about this shooting. We have to bring light to this. This shit gets old. You know, what? I, and um, like I said, the trend, the trend of the mass shooter, which is mostly done by men, it's, it's, it's a, it communicates the fact that most men are broken. Those men are broken. They have nowhere to turn to. They've given up. The world is suffering from the wrath of the broken man. Hundreds of people or, you know, dozens of people have to die because a man is broken. Men are suffering out here. You know, but again, this this is just a reminder. If you feel this way, don't don't do it. Talk to Renegade Number One. You got me to talk to. You got your brothers to talk to. You know, it's not you are not weak by expressing yourself verbally. You are not weak. You are weak when you communicate your thoughts into violence. Cause you have a choice. Period. Like I said, choose your suffering. We gonna suffer regardless. It's all about how you make it. You know what I mean? If you're passionate about something, you may suffer down the line, but you're still gonna go through it. Period. But, and, um, and I actually heard more about the article. He killed his fucking sister. This man killed his fucking sister. Because he couldn't get a girlfriend or he couldn't get female attention. Think about that. And I also heard that he was jealous of his sister's boyfriend. That's weak. It's sad. You know what I mean? Because this man was taught to believe that he needed a girlfriend or he thought he needed that. He thought he needed female validation. He couldn't accept that he... He just wasn't attractive. You know what I mean? Come to reality. You know, and sometimes when men come to reality, they want to take it out on themselves or others. That's not how you do it. Period. But uh, this is Renegade number one, man. Like the video, share, subscribe. Um, stay focused. Stay vigilant. Peace.